All right, just quickly ahead of this video, what it is, you'll notice that I'm doing a lot of what looks like aimless walking in and out of bushes and stuff and shaded areas. Although this video is primarily an audio test, I'm also using it as an opportunity to test a locked off setting for the Osmo Action for exposure and also white balance. Hence why the picture will look like it goes under and overexposed at points. It's just another thing that I'm testing with this video. Anyway, so on with the video. All right, David Harry here, and this is one of my preliminary video tests. And if you want to know what I mean by a preliminary video test, there'll be a link up here and one in the description taking you to a video which explains all about what I mean by that. But this particular prelim test is going to be very specifically for a combination of camera and microphone. In this instance, the DJI Osmo Action and then a microphone that I've kind of just put together as a, a bit of a modified botched thing. Uh, so what it is, I've recently done a video uh, showing how to basically build a microphone using the capsule out of, out of a, a Rode Video Micro, which basically creates a microphone which kind of orientates vertically and stays out of the field of view of a wide angle lens. Now, during that video, I'd made mention that I don't waste any of the parts when I start like, you know, messing with stuff and whatnot. So what I do, I repurpose the body from the Rode a video micro with an omni capsule in it so right now what we're hearing is this road video micro which has been converted to an omni like well to all intents and purpose an omni video mic now the thing with omni microphones they're generally not brilliant for doing vlogging because usually when you're vlogging you might be around like noisy environments and stuff in which case you need a cardioid pattern in order to kind of like help define your voice from all the other stuff that's around you but in instances like this where you're out and about somewhere which isn't getting heavily taxed by let's say city and industrial noises and you may well want to capture like the atmosphere of what's going on around you as in like nature and stuff birds and whatnot then an omni is going to be great for that now the other thing as well with an omni they are generally better as far as like tone qualities are concerned compared to a cardioid there's a whole technical reasoning for that which i'll probably do a video about at some point it's it's just that i don't actually know whether people are really that interested in the technical stuff to do with microphones or they just want to hear what they sound like and make their own decisions over them but yeah i'll probably do some technical videos this year and kind of break down certain things like you know the differences between omni and cardioid and the types of capsules used how shotguns work you know stuff to do with radio and stuff like that to do with you know wireless systems and whatnot but right now i'm not going to get all dead boring about that i'll get dead boring about what i'm doing <laughs> so like i say what i'm doing here is just basically giving myself like quite a bit of dialogue and whatnot so when i get in i kind of have like a real good analysis of what i've recorded and then that allows me then to move forward when I do a proper video about any of these combinations that are test. And I know exactly what they're going to do then. Hence why I do the preliminary testing. Plus also this particular mic modification, I've never tried it on anything other than a GoPro Hero 8 Black. And that was about five minutes ago because I just did a video for one of my YouTube buddies, Mr. Robert John Kerr, because... Both me and Robert have got like, you know, massive interest in the GoPro Hero 8 and stuff. So I was just demonstrating this microphone to him. Now, at some point, what I'll be doing as well, when the media mod uh, comes out, which funnily enough, GoPro have taken the money out of my account today. So hopefully that means that the media mod is ready to be shipped today or tomorrow. So what's going to happen as soon as the media mod comes out, what I'll be doing is doing a whole bunch of tests with the Hero 8, but then I'll be doing a lot of comparative stuff then between the Hero 8 and the Osmo Action with like the same mics and things like that. And the reason why I'm kind of going to wait until then to do the, the comparative stuff is because right now the official interface for the Osmo Action is the sign over, which is what I'm using. And I suppose you could say that the official interface for the Hero 8 really is the media mod and not the older three and a half millimeter mic adapter so like i said i've been holding off a little bit from doing comparative stuff between the action and the hero 8 with regard microphones until both of them are kind of like you know on par 
with use and the interfaces that were more specifically designed for them and not a previous product anyway so so far what we've heard is my re-leveled and re-summed version here of like you know this audio so what i'm going to do is right now what you are hearing is the sound level exactly as it went in so this has no like regaining or summing in post this is exactly as it's gone in so right now i'm back up to my re-leveled version now my re-leveled version normally consists of like a raise in the volume and also a slight limiter as well in order for me to get as close to zero as possible without one clipping zero and two sounding too crushed and over processed because the other problem here as well when you do this kind of stuff for youtube um you're kind of competing against like a lot of people who just blast their audio dead loud so you do have to kind of half dip your toe into these loudness war things on youtube otherwise when people are flipping through if they come across your stuff and it's a lot quieter than the previous kind of thing that they've listened to the, the you know like psychologically you get the impression that it's not as good because it's lower so unfortunately you'd have to be a bit mad with these things on youtube anyways i think that'll do it for this thing i've done me relentless talking and rabbiting on and whatnot and I've tried a couple of things here as well. So what I'm gonna do anyway is off the back of the results of this, this will give me a really good idea as to what to do with this combination when I kind of go ahead and do like the full blown videos and especially the comparative stuff as well with the GoPro Hero 8 Black. Anyways, yeah, so there you go. Prelim test all done and dusted. Now, if you've liked this video as well, or you, if you like the concept of these pure test things that I do, there'll also be a playlist, maybe a link here to like me prelim playlist where i put quite a few things not everything because some of the stuff that i do is just crazy and really mad so i don't really put that stuff up and also as well if you've got an interest in like the dji stuff do, that i do to do with the action and the pocket if you go to www.djiosmoaction.com i have all my videos listed there which is just a convenient place to put all my dji videos anywho i'm off now so I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.